What does a cavity look like? Let's talk. Hi, my name is Whitney and I'm a dental hygienist here to talk about how a massive cavity can actually be hidden under your tooth surface. So just because you don't see it, doesn't mean it's not there. If a cavity, also known as tooth decay, is between the teeth, oftentimes you can only see it with a dental x-ray. So if you didn't take x-rays and only had a clinical exam, it is possible for a large cavity in between the teeth that it won't be visible, which is why dental x-rays are super, super important. So technically, the cavity is not really hidden. You can see it with an x-ray. That's why we have x-rays. And now let's see what it looks like once you open it up. Opening it up, meaning the dentist told you they see a cavity on your x-ray, so they will need to remove it, which opening it up to remove it and fill it up, also known as a filling. So once you're numb, they will numb the tooth up with local anesthetic so you're comfortable, you won't feel anything. Then they will remove the decayed area, the tooth decay area of the cavity. In this video, the dentist is using a drill to remove the cavity out of the tooth, starting with a high speed handpiece, which is a high speed drill. Here's an animation for you to better see what's going on. Deep inside of the tooth, there will be darkness. You can see it decay, but until you start drilling, sometimes you can't see it on the top of the tooth until you open it up, like we were talking about earlier. So, okay, now they are done prepping the tooth. They effectively removed all of the tooth decay. If the cavity is between the teeth, they will place a band around the tooth and a wedge sometimes so the filling material does not pour over onto the other tooth next to it. It separates the two teeth away from each other. Then they may use a clamp to hold it on. But if it's a one surface cavity where it's not touching the teeth next to it, then they won't need to use any of the bands or the wedges or clamps. They will just move on to the next part, which is the etch. The etch is used to roughen the surface of the enamel. They will then rinse it off and dry it and then apply the bonding agent. Then the adhesive, which is light cured. So if you see them putting up their little orange part of their glasses, their loops, it's because they moved on to the light curing part. And then finally, they will place the filling material on the tooth and use different instruments to pack it and make it look like a tooth. Dentists will spend some time on making it look good. They want to mold the filling material to match the shape of your tooth. And once the dentist is happy with the shape, they will then light cure it to harden it. So now it's a permanent filling in your mouth. It looks pretty nice. Looks good as new, like nothing even happened there. And once they are done, if you did have any of the wedges, bands, and clamps around your tooth, they will remove these now. And they might remove any sharp edges with the drill if necessary. They'll floss around the tooth, probably with the string floss. And then they'll check the bite with the biting paper, also known as articulating paper. And then lastly, they will polish it so it's nice and smooth. If you want to watch a cavity being filled in even more detail, I'll link my other cavity filling videos in the description box, as well as my videos on how to prevent cavities, what happens if you leave a cavity untreated, should a cavity hurt, etc. Please like and subscribe and turn on your notifications. And until next time, I'll see you on Instagram at Teeth Talk Girl. Peace, love, and teeth.